mama, why what you say? You say you talking to me like your new babe. New babe. You talking like you trying to do things. Now that pipe gotta run it like she you saying, baby. You made me drown in it. Ooh, touche, baby. Okay. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Josh, and uh, today is Saturday, which we usually do predictions, but because we don't play tomorrow, we play until Monday. I wasn't gonna wait until Sunday to do a prediction, so I was, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and stick with the Saturdays. You know, we usually do Saturday predictions, so hopefully, whatever it is that we get right now is what we're gonna get tomorrow because. We're gonna have to talk about injuries and the players that we're excited to see, the players we don't want to leave, and you know, all the good stuff. So let's get right into it, guys, and I hope you do enjoy it. All right, so number one, like I said, injuries. As of right now, again, today is Saturday, so as of right now, all I know is Brian Bulaga and Jason Spriggs are the only ones who are injured. I think Bulaga has a knee injury, which he usually always does. And then Spriggs has like an ankle, ankle injury, ankle injury, which I think he was carted off the field from the practice field or whatever. And that's what I read. So I don't know how that's going to work out because Bulaga is a great player, but he's just very consistent with these injuries. Like it's over and over and it's repetitive. And if we don't really need a player like that. So hopefully they get all that settled and they're able to to kind of get the line to block for Aaron Rodgers and not make him run because that's another thing that we have to talk about. We have a running back who averages 6.1 yards per carry and yet we're still trying to either make Aaron Rodgers throw the ball, run the ball, or almost get picked off. Like, if we have a running back, like let's, let's utilize that running back instead of just having him in the backfield for no reason. But we're playing the 49ers and I know we can sit here and talk about record and how they're bad and how they have a backup quarterback and how they're not doing good and all this stuff, but look at what the Lions did. I mean, obviously, let's, okay, Mason Crosby, we get it, guys. Yes, Mason Crosby's missed a lot of kicks and he may, basically misses, lose the whole game. He missed 13 points. We get that. Okay, let's get over that. That's the, that was that was last week. We're gonna get over that. That's 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 the past. We're just gonna get over that. But this week. We're playing the 49ers, and like I said, we can't just go based off records because, like I said, the Lions were 1-3, and three, and now they're 2-3, and three, and we're still 2-2-1, two, two and one. so hopefully we can get this ball rolling, and I don't know, maybe we get to win the 49ers, and we're playing at home, so that's a great advantage for us. As far as the 49ers, I know that they haven't really been playing good. The quarterback is all right, you know, but he's not all that. I think their defense is not that great either. I think our defense is a lot better, so I think we're going to be stepping up to the plate, especially if we're able to start off really early in the first quarter second quarter and just kind of finish it off towards the half, second half i think we're gonna be doing great and like aaron Rodgers said we need to move the ball faster and start off faster because by the looks of it we kind of have again like he said bad first half good second half like it doesn't really work that way you got to play good all four quarters first and second half and you just kind of have to put out throughout the whole game we can't just have mediocre type games and you know just kind of catch up towards the end of the game that doesn't it doesn't work that way and with that being said obviously i don't know the injuries for the 49ers i don't know who's playing i don't know who's not but whatever they can i just know jimmy g is not playing so he's out for the season but as of right now guys my prediction for this 49ers versus the packers we're playing at home so i'm gonna go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt you know maybe the 49ers are a little bit better you know maybe they up the, the game and they got good at practice or whatever so let's give it the benefit of the doubt and all of a sudden they just became good so even with them being good i think we're going to be winning this is my prediction 27 to 14. i think that's a, that's how it's going to be we're going to be winning by double digits um or maybe even more but 27 14 that's going to be my prediction if anything guys maybe 30 but I don't know. I'm saying either 27, 30, but they're going to have like 14 points somewhere around there. So 27, 14, that's, that's my final prediction. Uh, you know what, guys? We're going to switch it up. No, 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 We're going to go 30 to 14. 30, 14, Packers win 30 to 14, and that's going to be it. So hopefully we win. Hopefully the game is exciting, and stay tuned because I will be going live on Monday, and it's going to be you and me, and you guys are going to go ahead and talk to me. So and how you guys are feeling about the game? When I, obviously, we're going to go only fourth quarter of the game. Hopefully there's still light out. Uh, not I'll turn out the lights real quick. But we're gonna be going live, fourth quarter, commercials and all. You guys are gonna get to see the whole game. So hopefully you guys are able to stay tuned with me and watch the game with me. And you know, comment down and just let me know how you guys are feeling. We're gonna have like a little talk, and we're gonna be watching the game. You're gonna see my reaction. You guys all know the good stuff. So 
stay tuned for Monday, guys. It's gonna be so late. You guys don't want to miss that. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's guys. I hope you do enjoy it. If you did, hook your brothers up real quick, guys. Right now, I am feeling a little bit dizzy. I'm feeling like I'm tipping over like this, and then the camera's gonna like ah. So, guys, I have to go and eat something. Uh, I'm really hungry, so I really need to get something in my system. Uh, I feel like I'm really falling. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. And in case you didn't know who the hell this person is, it's your boy Josh. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are feeling about Monday's game. What's the prediction for you guys? And what do you think we're going to be doing? Hopefully, our offense kind of steps up and also our defense in the end zone and just overall. So, guys, let me know in the comments down below. You guys know the deal. And obviously, it's your boy Josh. It's all good. And I'll see you guys next time.